Hey everyone, it's Michael Verzon and this is the BFDI II uh, Tour 2024. Woo woo! We're in New York City. Let's go! Woo! Let's... all six locations if you want. We're doing six cities. <laughs> oh Can yes. There we go. Time to start. Okay, it looks like I'm ready to get going. Cued on, looks good, background's ready. Okay, all right, it's go time. Here we go. Oh, oh. oh wow, I guess now oh oh hey guys oh <laughs> wow this is actually amazing I, I I can't believe it you guys just already came here just waiting on me wow <laughs> this is crazy <laughs> I guess welcome I'm so happy you guys have already just came in just sawing a little bit of a little show in between but it's amazing. And for those of you guys over here on the side, you guys have already came in here too. This is excellent. How do you all feel? Uh, uh yeah, I mean, we're good. I, I really expected that you are, you are here anyway. Who are you? I'm Chris the Beast. Oh, oh. It seemed like that Son of Beast is not in here yet. No, 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 he will be here. I promise you he will be on here. Yeah, exactly. I definitely really like to see him what is going on for him. Yeah, definitely the true thing is, gotta know the gang guy. We live in a born talent in New York City. That is totally correct now. You know, I was really happy now because, you know, when he visits it and he just enjoys a lifetime in New York City, he definitely just really want to visit. Not just always stay here, but enjoy the life around. Yeah, paradise in New York City. That's where we are belong in, right? <laughs> yeah, right. <laughs> oh man, guys, uh, gangsta DJ here. <laughs> guys are so funny. <laughs> we do. Wow, well, pressure enough to have you in here. How's it going? It's going great now, Wood Spoonie. And I really enjoyed everybody coming in to start things off for a little show to pick up. I think we're ready to show how it's done for a vlog video. Yeah, vlog video it is. I ha I heard that you weren't there before. How did you like it? It was fun. Enjoyed it. I'm gonna say you are definitely just an adventurer in New York City. Must say now, I'm heading to Chicago. I'm definitely here going with Tyler Beast anyway. Really? You are? Huh? <laughs> yes, so. It's always great. I uh, can't wait to hear about you, Terry, but it's great to have your pleasure with you. And to everyone else who is here, right on, right on the main setup of the feeder, it looks like I call it the centerpiece feeder, but it's just not what I really wanted to call for. And for you guys who are here, you finally have just came. It's been like already been like huge packed. Same thing I have to go with like Luigi guy of the deal, so give that applause with that. And for some of you all wish, it's gonna be all definitely for amazing. Ha! Gotta be excited with that. Peter is just always that loud and amazing. Oh yes, of course! It is! Definitely exciting to do make a lot of new friends. And definitely, you know, we always have fun together. That's definitely true. <laughs> Hey, what are you doing in my space? I'm just always here. Just giving a little bit of talk about you, fan. That's always amazing. Psst. Hey, I'm always here. Hey, do you really spot me on? I did not even notice you about you. Well then, I guess I always expected you. You always come in right next to me. Yeah, that's my best duo over here. Fan, remember? Yeah, this is what I always wanted to hear about the Vlodge one. Well, 
I always gotta say that this might be an accomplishment, and I'd really love to hear about you, Mr. Chris the Beast. Oh, how did you know my name? Well, I definitely searched it. It looks like you're here with Clover, of course. Do you always know where she is? I don't know where she went, so I guess, uh, I think she's at the grocery store, picking up her stuff. Oh, okay, well, if you see her, let me know. I would love to hear about a large one. And you are making this one a perfect choice, right on the screen. Definitely right. You know, always that great, and it's definitely how impossible that is, but it's a nice trip to enjoy. Uh-huh, yes, I know it is. Huh, you still here, Goo? I, I know, I mean, you were already here before, right? Well, not for last season, but I'm always coming to check out what he does. <laughs> Just that, anybody has a point. They do it. Yeah, of course. I know it is about to be happening. Yeah. Uh, where's my friend at? Hello? Are you high up there? I'm right here! That is me! I'm Balloon! And I'm up here! This is the better sight. I like it better than sitting down here. Oh, uh, what are they doing up here? I do not like this when this happens like that. And this is not what I expect when they're all sitting at the top of the of the row. This doesn't mean to anyone else like that. Hey, you balloony foolie. Don't call me that. It's not your business here, as I want it. Wait a minute. I just heard someone who is being controlled over it. And I really do not like it when this happens like that. I say that he is doing too much. What are you doing in here, Silver Spoon? You're acting someone who is being controlled by it. Uh, and who are you down there? I want to hear about your name. I'm Cheney. You know the thing about me? I've always had to become a so popularity, but because of me, I am a new contestant. New contestant you are? Not of choice. Well, that is totally me, and I really want to be in it. Oh, jeez. Settle down now, Genie. I, I, it's just it's just going to be a show to enjoy it. Not your business to take. Not even anybody who really likes to be here at all the costly to maintain it. You're being so rude. Not there anyone who is trying to, like, considerate you. You're the worst. Uh, excuse me now? Don't say it in front of it. Leave him alone, Mike. Just don't even take a chance. No, do you? Because I just don't want that. Just do it. Okay then. I'll stay calm now. Anyway, in your dream now. Well, this doesn't mean to anyone. Be quiet. So rude. Okay, just, just guys, uh, calm down, calm down. All right, please, please, please. Uh, so spoon. Why, why would you talk to anyone like that? I we need to know what your opinion is. I want to know what happened. She did it. She's the one who definitely talked it so mean to me. That is the one victim that I just spied. It's Chain. Now, don't you dare call me that name. It's Chain. I always know what I had to say for it, and this is what I don't do. Don't even take over it from me. You little thief. Don't call him that name! <gasps> oh no! Somebody just came! It is I, Yang! And I'm Yang! Oh, brother. What earth am I doing right now? I'm in between the stuck of a groups! <sighs> Yang Yang, you don't even understand it, right? Well, you would. Perhaps you'll be okay with me. No, I would say that then. Don't do it, please. I beg on you, don't even try doing this anyway. Well, you could definitely sit down for sure. It's okay. I will be clean. No, you won't. Stay out. Well, uh, Yang, I just really wanted to just try to, like, see if I can stick in front of you. I'll be fine. Great idea. Jeez, he, he's, like, bigger than me. Oh, yes, I am. Well, I could definitely stop on you for good. <laughs> Not today, literally. Oh, come on! Why would they have to say it like that? 
Well, let's get over this now. We got a little bit of a show to start. Yeah, let's just do it now. Off to you. All right, thank you so much, you guys. All right, guys, just calm down right now. And you, Cheney, don't try to make a move on it. I won't. Seriously, this is nothing what I really like. Nobody. Okay, like I said here before, this is what I'm doing here for this part of the show. And something amazing is something popping up here, and the moment is gonna be turning to be how great it is because I have went to this event. And something that you might notice, this presentation is gonna be showing us what it is look like. Character actors, the stage and a set, a uh, voice acting that I have definitely recorded in between, and also with the screening of this in between of the auditorium. And this location is happening in New York City. That is right. I really wanted to take a little bit of a moment here that for those of you who are already putting voice as a character actors, this goes to you all. And for everyone who is here with us, you guys are the best. Bring it on. And to all the viewers out here, if you have already attended here in New York City, um, it's yours to have that opinion to see if you really like this event. Because you have a lot of fun things to say for right in between to be across the location here. So this was happening here before. We, the first one happened here was the last two. Sammy Media Center was the same, same thing as last year. And same thing that goes with New York, but different location in between. Gerald W. Lynch Theater, Criminal Court of Justice, uh, and also relocated to this year at the NYU Skirt Ball, as I will be taking it up in just a few seconds. And this was an exciting uh, part of the tour, and I can't wait to see what goes in. And with that being said, right now, you all are ready to see what the Blodge looks like. Anybody? Who's ready for the Blodge video? Yeah! Terry Crews ready. I'm ready to see what the Blodge is. I'm ready to see what it is now. Me too! What's Bernie ready to see what it is? I'm really excited. Plus, I went to that. I just went to location here at the NYU. Oh, really? You are doing this too much? Well, I guess I went, just went there. Well, don't even try to comply about that. And also you, Silver Spoon? You felt like you're not ready? Oh, oh. <laughs> I, I guess I was not even ready, but I, I am now ready. I'm ready. I'm ready. Go on there, Beast. Kind of a little interesting to hear, huh? Uh, I guess... It's nothing fun, fun in that. Alright. <laughs> I guess you're all really ready to see what it is. But this is what it's going to look like. When this is going to happen, this traveling is going to be a little bit different in between. So, I want you to think clearly in this one and that one point. It's going to be how amazing it is. And because of that show, we're going to have a ton of that fun right in between of the alley of the eye. And, with something amazing new, I will have a surprise for you at the end, so stay around tight because there's something happening that's going to be right around the corner, so you don't want to miss that one out because you have a little bit of some exciting news to tell you because there is like a special surprise. I, I love to, I love to have a surprise in the end already. <laughs> well, I guess uh, it's just amazing right now. I mean, right, Terry? <laughs> yeah, I mean... Definitely a great surprise, actually. I, I would definitely would like that, too. You know? It's definitely what everyone really likes at the end of the show. Definitely gotta enjoy that one. <laughs> yeah, same, too. Well, I guess uh, it's great there, Terry. I, I know. But appreciation is about to be coming in there right now, and we're about to be seeing what's going on right in between the alley, right from the location from here to New York City, and this is what the lodge will definitely will look like, right in between from starting in from the start trail to the finish line trail. And before the show starts, this is what's going to happen for now. And as it being said, here it is, the one and only Son of Beast, and he's on the screen here. This is what's going to look like, so you don't want to miss it out. And with that being said, this is where it's going to start things off, and he's right on here showing us how it's going. Now, let's get in the action. Take it away, son of a beast! Hi there, thank you so much for having me here on the TV, Mr. Chris the Beast. 
And for an amazing part, I really would love to hear with all the people out there. Welcome to the show of the show vlog. As right at this moment, I have something a quick announcement to give it to you guys. For those of you who have already made it here, in in between of each days, thank you so much for having an attendance here at the NYU and giving a good social media on the line right in between at the BFDI Inanimate Insanity Tour of 2024. And to one of the YouTubers of Jack and Jellyfy in Animation Epic. Well, as I mentioned here before, this is what it's going to look like. Every vlog video is definitely going to be in between of what we did so far, and after leaving here, we'll show you what's around here. So, with that being said, is everybody ready? Yeah. Ready, Freddy. <laughs> yeah, ready to go. All right. So with that being said, it's time to roll the show. Let's start at the beginning. Our story begins. We packed everything up. I had put everything in: the board, markers, and definitely, of course, the paper that I just brought, and two plushies of nickel and yin yang. That's us. Of course we are. Yes, we are. <laughs> and then, after a long drive out of New Jersey, we finally made our way to New York. But first, we have to drive all the way down to the Holland Tunnel and make our way to New York. So we have approached to New York City, and the building was a tall height to sightseeing. We finally made our way to the Thompson parking one, and then we stepped out of the car and made our way to the theater. It was three minute walk, but we went less than three minutes because it was easier to get there without any traffic getting our way. It was not bad at all, and we definitely made there on time before the show started. And it was definitely amazing to check out the skirball in front of the entrance. That's where we went in to get in line, to get inside. And fill the seats up, and this is what it looks like for now. In line to enjoy. All right, here we are. Bought a little nickel here. Just ready to see what this theater looks like. This is this might be the best spot, probably. It's gonna be great, fantastic event. And look at this, Papa Beast and my mother Beast are here with me. So this is a fun one. Woo! <laughs> I can't. I can't. <laughs> I'm really excited now. You ready, buddy? Yes, I am. Let's do this. Well, I have never seen anyone like that, and I know this would never be my only day that I would have to entrust on, and that's what the parking is for. Well, 
definitely a lot quicker to get there. Yeah, definitely. Exactly the true thing it is. Huh, wow, that's amazing. Really loved it. It's always good to have to have that one bringing him by. Popping in, big time. Ah, so it looks like you brought a nickel with you. That's interesting. And it looks like a little boomer here too, huh? I really like it. Definitely files it for so long. It's definitely what he is expecting to bring at the show. Cool. Really love that. Yeah, uh, I guess I would have bet. It would have been helpful anyway. Just what I pleased on bet. Hey, it's definitely what it all expected now. Theater is gracious. I mean, not gracious, but I'm saying it is huge. Amazing stages of the theater. It's excellent. Well, don't for a comparison. Probably. I guess I would never know. Huh, <laughs> you may figure it out. <laughs> yeah, uh, I guess. Well, you can definitely say that again. But anyway, we made our way in, and down the stairs was a huge line to get to the merchandise stores before getting our seats in. It was so packed that we have to wait so long for several minutes to get in line before the show starts. And the good thing is, they have some new plushies here, which I'll get to that in a second. Because at this point, there is a lot of them that's going on. But I was so shocked about the shirts when sold out on my size that I was looking for. But before we went downstairs, I took a little bit of a picture in between by Two and Evil Leafy. Which of course is kind of a little scary to me. Well, <laughs> expectedly, that this had happened. I really know that it was definitely looking at me, so I stand back, and this pose went like this. Well, that's just always me. You can expect that. But I always really love to see which one do I really love the most. In between the episodes of the BFTI TPOT and the return of Season 2 of the Inanimate Insanity. But this is definitely what everybody really likes enjoying this show. A new moment has appeared. Looks like it's two guys over here. You ready for the show? Yes, I am. I'm really excited. Me too. That's me. And down here, I spotted one of these creators, and they are here at the down right by nearing the entrance of the orchestra section from down below to the row seats. As I can always expect it right now, they are definitely cool. And after that, I definitely bought two plushies here. They're pretty cool, and definitely in between of Inanimate Insanity and BFDI. So after that, I took some pictures in between of it by Spartan Dash, and you all know for a pickle fan, knows this stuff. It's Derek Napolitano. Yes, I know, and I expect it right now because this is what I definitely haven't even seen any cast that have played each voice from each seasons of season one and two. Well, all I can expect right now is, is amazing now. <laughs> oh, I do not like pickle at all anyway. Settle down now. Because of this moment, we are really expecting right now. It's because the actor has done it. It's the pickle, what I really have to tell you about this, Silver Spoon. You don't defend me anyway, I don't really want to try to steal it to you. And because of you, you won't take a defense seriously at all times. Are you just trying to sabotage me? No, of course not. Yeah, leave him alone right now. You shut it! Shut it! I've always expected what you really need to know for. What is that? The allergies! I don't have allergies. Not even me. Uh, Silver Spoon, can you please keep it quiet right now? I'm still watching! Yeah, me too. Come on, Silver Spoon, let's get back into it, please. Uh, you always been enforcing me to try to stop it. Even you, Cheney. Don't even call me that, Cheney. And I do not really like it. 
You always can't even try to expect on you. Oh, brother. This is never going to happen like that, Test Tube. What do we do? Hey, don't worry about that. It will be fine. Hey, promise you on your side right now. Whenever you think about me, I always think about you. The same thing I always try to tell you so. <laughs> well, I guess it is. It's a dynamic duo for everybody. And it's all for the life. Let's enjoy our lifetime. Vlog, continue. All for you. Okay. All right. Take it over. So we made our way to the balcony, and this is what the top row looks like. Nice seat in a row. This balcony is excellent. Oh, yeah. Showtime. I can't believe it. My first time ever. I'm ready to see what it is. Yeah, that's right. The best row in the top section of the balcony. And this is what definitely you could see from the top of the bottom, from the seats to the screen. This is excellent to see up from here. Last time at Gerald W. Lynch Theater, we sat on the left side of a corner of the screen. So it's kind of like hard to like not see in the middle at all. But as I mentioned it before, it was okay for me. But definitely enjoying it with the creators here who are on stage. But for this time, I definitely really can't believe it that this is the best section that we got in front of it to take a look at. Oh, it is great. I definitely really love to hear that one. It's pretty nice when you sit up here on the top of the section. You really enjoyed it. <laughs> definitely look at the screen here too. Definitely gonna enjoy that. Files says about seat row only. You just gotta believe anybody. You really gotta enjoy that. I guess that seat is just enjoyable. Hey, best one to watch out there. It's showtime. The show is about to begin, and all three creators are on stage. Michael Hong, Adam Katz, and Carrie Hong. And they're on the stage. Everyone was applauding so loudly, and they all really, really love to see them on stage before the show starts. And what Carrie really wants to know, he wants to see the magic trick. And what's behind it? Well, here it is now. Don't get freaked out. Uh-oh. Oh boy, uh, uh, calm down everybody, calm down, calm down, it's, it's just, uh, it's just the special effect, that's what the beast has already been up to, yeah I know, it's all that happens right now, but that's what it happens to be appearing on the screen, so, you will never find out, in your room, or anywhere, oh no, no way. I would be so cruel to him, definitely kind of scared if he comes up to me like that. That's what had been happening like that all along. I guess it, it, it won't happen like that. I mean, you, you will never hurt me for any reason. Do you think? Well, it won't bite me anyway. No offend on that. It's okay. Trust them. Everybody knows the secret. Exactly true. <laughs> Moving on, you'll be seeing two new episodes that the world has not seen yet. Those are Teapot 12. Yay! And of course, we have the long awaited return of the second season of the Yeah, the second season of episode 15! Yay! Wow, this reaction is incredible. Like, thank you all so much. We're so excited to finally bring the season back after four years of the last episode. It's in 2020, so it's been a long time. Oh, wow. And I'm assuming most of you are, maybe most of you are actually caught up. But if some of you aren't caught up, we have a little surprise before the screening to get everyone reacquainted with what's happened. Oh. So, I'm really excited. Yay! Yeah. 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 Who is ready for over an hour of unreleased BFDI and I have episodes? I can always expect right now that this was a, after like four years in 2020, 
and you can always expect of how this has always happened. Yes, I definitely do understand it, and this is what everyone really loves to see. This, and then the QR code shows up the display screen at the end of each two parts. And that being said right now, the show has started, and we made our moment here. So one of our biggest moments here we love is laugh, cry, shout, and scream. I mean, something big and sudden happens, I just really felt like that's something would definitely change anything into. It was really fun watching in between, but when I expect it now, this is what something gets freaked me out. It's everybody's reaction. And after that, after TPOT of the new episode, and also the Inanime Insanity return of it, there was a new music video of the final four of season two. Thanks to have that one remembered. Yeah, I mean, it, it was a great show, actually. Set Beast, I uh, I really appreciate to you. I went to the show, and <laughs> and it's fantastic anyway. I mean, I really loved it. I'm glad you really liked it there, Boomer. And with all of that, I mean, this is definitely amazing. You really loved it. Mm-hmm. I definitely really loved it anyway. So excellent and peculiar there, Boomer. You're amazing. You just finally made it there to the show and checked it out. <laughs> Thank you so much. Really appreciate it. Yeah, I, I guess I would appreciate you that. Hope you enjoyed the show already. Did you have fun? Yes, I did. <laughs> I did have fun. Well, that's great. I always think of you for now. Of me? Yeah, just for you. You are the best. <laughs> Thanks. Really appreciate you anyway. Anytime. Love that show. Back to you. And with that, this is what it turns to look like. After this, with something impressive from the conclusion of TPOT episode 12, it is right in between of the contestant that wants to join in the TPOT. Right from the four that was out and escaped. This is what definitely happened recalling for the last reaction video. They were as being concluded. Pencil, Match, Bracely, Dora, Fiery Jr., Robotty, Lull, L-I-Y, Stapy, David, and 8-Ball. All of them were definitely wanting to be in the show and join in the TPOT with the contestants. But sometimes, however, the judges will never know what to pick. But this is what the favorite is for episode number two. Open mouth, yeah, yeah, yeah. Let him out, yeah, yeah, yeah. So what? For me, yeah, yeah, yeah. Type in A, yeah, yeah, yeah. Because my lions needs me. I just can't live without me. Well, all of each episode's right in between from each parts, from season two to season four. But I've always expected now that this is what everybody really wants for. They want pen. So, why? <laughs> well, it's all the cheering what they expected for. I mean, can't handle it now. <laughs> well, must be one of the occasions I know for. Could be stronger than anyone does. Say choo-choo now, let him go. You know what they say to do. It's what life ring does. <laughs> I've always expected that. It's not happening at all. What? Why would you say that? Because it doesn't matter to anyone who does it. Hey, leave it to be already. It would have been excellent, right? Yeah, totally right. Well, why would you have to say it in front of it? I don't want to know. It's not my day who can definitely control over them. My Cheney and Boomer. This is nothing what I've always expected to be pleased by anyone. Hey! Not even a chance if you know that anyway. Huh. How dare you? So cruel. So energetic. Why is that not a thing? It shouldn't be like this at like, all the time. And I would never let this one happen again. At each. Because if Cheney definitely wants to enjoy with Boomer, he's got to, like, have a consequences. And for she, too. Never going to happen. Never. Ever going to let that one go with the fight. Shh. So rude. Okay. I'll back off now. Anyway, as the point of that goes on, it was time now to reveal one of our only director and the writers of the show. 
incredible. Um, we're gonna jump right into the Q&A. So, this and we've got a star-studded cast to talk about what you all just saw. Hello. So, uh, without further ado, please welcome the, the co-creator of BFDI, Carrie Huang. so much better right now. Thanks for a little bit of the survey. Keep it nice and cool. It's good. Very good. All right. How did everyone enjoy the show? Yeah. Woo! I'm a writer director on Inanimate Insanity, a uh, voice of a few characters. You just uh, you just saw Me Pad on screen. Um, oh, my name, my name is Me Pad. Yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Nice invitational is playing. But as all as you may know here, Brian Coach was the alumni here of the NYU. He definitely missed it so much, and he had a lot of concentrations to go on with a lot of certain steps. But his graduation now has been turning out to be the great year, and he always misses the best thing in the world back in the NYU all the time. Well, yeah. They've always been living to cheer for so long of it, however, what I was always expected. But for now, it just never was, was uh, happened with the ending of it for longer than it takes. <laughs> they really need to know that what's going on, just for real life. Well, what do you know about New York? Whew! I always know everything about that. Just enjoyable. That's all. Oh, do not expect from me, Pod, for Justin Jobman, and also I know of Go and also Silver Spoon. That was always me. I cannot always been informed of myself. Ha, definitely, it is. But all I always expect, it, it's just what it is now. And definitely knife, hey. Yeah, kind of crazy. Nice. Ha, it looks like I definitely have a first familiar voice just like him. Yay for everything. Yeah, I know. Definitely true thing it is. Galigi. Definitely it is for everything. I guess it is true then, Fan. Definitely amazing. Yeah, I could settle down for a minute. Well, definitely want to talk to someone now. For real. Huh. I guess you have a point there, fan. Always.
Then the next voice actor voiced as Taco from the Inanimate Insanity, and her name is Regan Rizzio. Hi, I'm Regan. I am the voice of Taco. We love your CD! Have a brief little appearance as Crosker. Crosker, yes. Ah, <laughs> uh, yeah. Uh, definitely have to be a Hollywood star to be a Crosker. To make a nominee, to make him more amazing. Uh, hi, I'm Sun. You might know me as Yellowing Deer. Uh, <laughs> I helped write the uh, There we go. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Episode and T-Fox 12, and I'm also the supervisor uh, for the animation supervisor on uh, I.I. Yeah. Hello, my name is Michael, and about 15 Very years cool. ago, Very my cool. brother and I started creating a show called BFDI. <laughs> Carrie wants to do something a little bit different with the human video to be in it. And with all of that, he wants to take a video of it and then put it in the TPOT of the ending to put it right in the scene. So you will be able to see that once this one is finished. And with that being said is, this is what it will look like from the end after making a one vote count for the TPOT episode 12. And this is what it looks like. But well, we definitely went crazy anyway. It was fun. For the record, I have just as many friends. <laughs> well, that was a little unexpected. I guess it's a normal Tuesday for you. Whatever. <laughs> <laughs> That's fine, actually. Leave it like that. <laughs> After that, it's Adam Katz's turn. Created as... I guess there's a lot of people to just enjoy it for yourself. And so do you. Yeah, definitely me, of course. And now it's time for the Q&A. This was fantastic. Last year I was able to do the question. Definitely get to enjoy it. But this year, there was no microphones to give it up to the balcony. So I was really stubborn. And I had to walk all the way down here from the top to bottom of the orchestra. From the bottom of the seatings. It was nowhere that no microphones have been added here on the top of the steps. But in that case, I was stumped and I couldn't get the questions in there. So that was a little like, uh, well, all right. But I definitely saved the questions on the outside for later. So I don't want to take a chance with that. 
Okay, I, I guess that is true. Yeah, I'm uh, sorry about that, man. But I guess uh, the questions will come in for number one to make. Yeah, definitely the true thing is. But all gonna make that one sort of a good question to concern for everything, but it's always great enough to hear it. Let's hear about that. Wow, <laughs> I love Q&As anyway. But let's make a question of how it is. Well, I guess you can't win with anything. I guess. Not a perfect choice if you would. In the meantime, there are some good questions out there I'd love to hear. Carrie and Michael used to be the guy and, and, and Amazon was the second season and clearly you guys know each other very well. And my question is, how long have you known the Adam and Sandy crew? It's a really good question. Um, oh. We honestly met online, kind of. Well, the funny story, this is like an enemies to friends uh, story. Kind of. Because at the time, I feel like it always gets lost, like, in 2010, you were like, 12 years old when we and I started. Yeah. And I, I was in uh, 2011, so I was like 13. So we were basically 13 years old. Oh. We were kids, and you know, I, I is basically a copy of BMTI. Oh no! And they're like, oh, oh. you copy me. Ooh. And then we had a little little fun banter, and then uh, we realized, wait, they actually have a lot in common. But yeah, we, we spent a lot of time duking it out in the, the Facebook page comments and <laughs> on Skype. <laughs> We don't use either of those programs anymore. Who would have missed Skype? I think we didn't actually meet in person until 2016, 2017 or so. I want to say 2017, yeah. Which is like, yeah, seven years after we started the show. It's been seven years since then. Wow. So we know that the recovery centers aren't really a thing in Van Insanity. Uh, MiFone can recover them. Can other people products, or is it just our MiFone? Only Mifron 4 has this ability. That's why when Bo died, while Mifron 4 was dead as well, Bo was not able to be recovered, and Bo will never be able to be recovered due to this. So we need Mifron 4 up, because if something happened to Mifron 4, everyone would not have a way to revive themselves if they died. So you got to protect Mifron 4. That's why the Invitational Pillar is so scary. And it's super best. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Go ahead, please. You have a question? You are like the gods. Well, thank you. <laughs> thank you. Okay, but what about the other contestants at Cavi's Library? How are they doing? I think they're reading a lot. I think they're getting really well read. A lot of information, a lot of library cards to go around. So are they getting smart? Probably smarter than they were before. <laughs> I'm making the edge that learning is fun there. They might, they might be so well read that they, they just gone through all the books and maybe they have to maybe leave and explore other areas very soon. Um, Save some of that for the screen, Adam. Thank you. Thank you. But here's the thing. I'm definitely thinking of making an object show, but here's the quote from Michael of what he has to say for the people who are new here to make object shows. Make mistakes. Make imperfect shows before trying to make a perfect show. Oh, I totally have. Yeah. You'll learn way more from that. So much more. If you're not having a ball, then really what's the point? Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Over here. At the back. All the character voice actors, also known as the cast members, have appeared and they're on the stage making their way to an entrance. A little bit of a present surprise out there. Even when I saw them last year, well, there are some of them are new, very this year. And yes, that's what they definitely sounded like too. What do? Oh yeah. You may not know what they look like, but you know what they sound like. Yeah, I remember. Next time on oh, oh, Insanity Invitation. Oh my God. Oh yeah, I remembered it. Hello everyone. I got a 
just got eliminated. I'm a little upset. Oh. Uh, sorry about that. Yay. Whoa. Are there any pickle fans here? Oh, God. Who can, who can sing with me? She forgot, she forgot, she forgot, she forgot, she forgot. Guys, thank you. I am a d d d b b b bomb I'm Max. Hey, Max. Kaboom. My character got eliminated a long time ago, but he still has his picture of Justin and I voice trophy. Yes. yes. Jock and jerk. All right. I have a question for all of you. This is just a one answer response. Besides X and four, who is the coolest algebraian? So thank you guys for coming out. Wow, Ten, you're really gonna say that to my face? <laughs> anyway, hi, I'm Whoop Do. I'm the voice of I'm the voice of Five. And I also voice, I also voice a couple side characters like Clip and Propeller Hat. Huh. So there you go. Hey guys, I'm gonna sit down for this one because it's actually pretty serious. All right, hi, I am Taffy Marzi, and I voice act Nightfall. You know the one? You know the titular line? Oh yeah, 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 definitely. Yeah, I also voice Taylor for one too, I guess. Thank you. Oh, one more. Uh, hello, my name is Brain Whiteside. Uh, I voice the recently new host from BFDIA, The Bugs. But in, in buggies, it would sound like this. <laughs> I also voiced the, the long lost rubber ball from an Emmett Insanity. <laughs> awesome. And with that, the QA is concluded. Thank you all so much for the fact. <laughs> Wow, fun, fun episode, and also the uh, amazing fans here, right out the bottom. That's why I always on it right now. This is amazing. Well, I guess it's been in the end right now. What a great show. All your support creators, you rock. Anyway, that is it for part one, but don't worry, I will do part two on the other side pretty soon because that video almost took an hour to finish making this film. And I am pretty sorry that I have done so many animations right in between of those two. An anime insanity of the characters and BFDI characters. I mean, this is like too much for me to use it. <laughs> but anyway, I hope you all enjoyed it, and don't worry, because I will have a second part ready, and I have a big surprise for you all, for the viewers who have already tuned into my channel, and I wanted to take a moment to realize that for the next milestone, to get ready, because something is about to happen, and you're never going to believe what it is. So, with that being mindful, keep your eyes peeled for part two, and, of course, you will definitely see more videos, including reaction videos, and 3EE will be my next step to get in, especially with the tiny taco tails from Fusion Animation. So I guess that is pretty much it right now, so I hope you all enjoyed it, and same do I, because I'm looking forward for next year in 2025 for the BFDI and Anime Sanity Tour. Definitely can't wait, and it's going to be my third time and hoping to get a VIP in the backstage 
or not for more than years. <laughs> I'm sorry, I mean, I won't be able to guess it. If there is a VIP, I mean, it will be fine. In the meantime, that's it for me. Peace out for a while as the BFDI in Anime Insanity Tour of 2024 Village Video Dial in New York City. That's it for me. This is Chris from Son of Beast. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you all again on the other side. See you in part two. If you don't, if you don't, somebody will.